single user license hdtvedu.com solver x negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. Welcome to hdtvedu.com direct and simple education in seconds. You watch, you play, you pass, you learn. Negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. So compare it with ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. A x squared plus b x plus c is equal to 0. So a x squared a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to 0. So when you compare you see that a is equal to negative 1 b is equal to positive 2 c is equal to positive 3. So a equals negative 1 b equals positive 2 c equals 3. So a is equal to negative 1 b is equal to positive 2 c is equal to 3. And you know that whenever you're asked for the solutions or for the roots you use the formula negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Remember b can be positive, negative or 0. c can be positive, negative or 0. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And don't forget this. It is all, all of that. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. The whole thing divided by 2a. All right. So substitute for b. What is b? 2. So what is negative of 2? It becomes negative 2 plus or minus. What is b? 2. So square of 2 is 4 minus 4. So here is your negative. And then 4a is equal to a is equal to negative 1. C is equal to 3. a is equal to negative 1. So substitute all that and you get what is 2 to the power of 2? It is 4. What is negative 4 times negative 1? Positive 4. Positive 4 times 3 is, so this whole thing, this whole thing is positive 12. So you get plus 12. So you get negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 12 divided by the whole thing divided by negative 2. Don't forget, it is the whole thing. Sometimes students forget that it is the whole thing divided by 2a and a is negative 1 so 2 times a becomes negative 2 so negative 2 plus or minus what is 4 plus 12 16 so negative 2 plus or minus 16 divided by negative 2 what is square root of 16 square root of 16 is 4 so negative 2 plus or minus 4 divided by negative 2 so negative 2 plus or minus square root of 16 divided by negative 2. So negative 2 plus or minus what is square root of 16? Positive 4. So negative 2 plus or minus negative 2 plus or minus 4 divided by negative 2. That means we get two solutions. Negative 2 plus 4, the whole thing divided by negative 2 or negative 2 minus 4, the whole thing divided by negative 2. What is negative 2 plus 4? It is positive 2. What is positive 2 divided by negative 2? Positive 2 divided by negative 2 and it is negative 1. And let's follow the other solution. The other solution is right here. It is negative 2 minus 4 divided by negative 2. What is negative 2 minus 4? Negative 6. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. All right. So negative 6 divided by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive. So negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3. So your solutions are x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 3. So let's do a small review here. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 means x is equal to, there are two solutions for x. And that is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So if you are given 
y is equal to negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. x equals negative 1, it should go to 0. When you substitute x equals negative 1, what happens? Wherever you have the x, everywhere else, you keep it the same. Wherever you have x, substitute negative 1. So what is negative 1 to the power of 2? It is positive 1. And what is negative of positive 1? It is negative 1. So you have negative 1 minus 2 plus 3. And that is equal to 0. All right? So even though we were given negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, one of the possibilities is that you can set that as equal to y and set it equal to 0. So what did we do? We set negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. We set that as equal to y. And then we set y equal to 0. So you say 0 equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. And now when we solve for x, we are actually getting when we set y equal to 0, we have the x-axis. So when we solve for x, we get the x-intercepts. So another possible solution is this. Here we have one negative and one positive. And where is sometimes you can rule out. Sometimes when you solve for equations and if you get a negative number, sometimes, not all the time, not all times, sometimes, sometimes you can rule out solutions involving negative numbers. For example, you know that time cannot be negative. So when you are solving for time, and if you get a negative time, you can rule that out. And that has application in physics. So we have negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to y, and that is equal to 0. So you have negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. Negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. x equals x2, it should also go to 0. x2 is equal to 3, right? So substitute. So let's keep everything as before. And see if it is equal to 0. At the position of x, what do we substitute? 3. So what is... 3 to the power of 2, 9. What is negative of 9? Negative 9. What is 2 times 3? 6 plus 3. And that is equal to 0. Negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. When we substitute x equals negative 1 into negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, we get 0. When you substitute x equals 3 into negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, we get equal to 0. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck. Thank you.